Have you ever heard that saying, another man's junk is another man's treasure? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Leo and thank you for joining me here today. Have you ever heard that saying, another person's junk is another person's treasure? Well, I think I, I, I've found on a bit of a treasure there because my neighbour recently threw some flowers away and I can see why she's thrown the flowers away, to be honest, because they are rather marked and damaged and, you know, <laughs> they are a bit shabby, to be fair. I mean, look at this. Look at this poor thing here. This poor thing has seen better days by far. And it, it's, a, it, it's a funny shape. But I think there's at least one or two pictures here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip them apart and find some compositions and some good pictures out of them. I believe we can do it because why throw something away just because it's marked or it's damaged or, you know, it's bent a little bit. So I'm going to take you through how I'm going to take these pictures. And coming up to Mother's Day, why not? Because we might as well take a picture for your mother and have it printed and then that way then that picture's there forever, that flower's there forever. So let's have a look what we can do. So here's the three shots that I'm going to be talking you through today. And they're quite easy and straightforward, but I think they make for a great picture and for something that's been thrown away, phew, you know what I mean? It's an no-brainer. So I'm going to be doing these shots. The first one I'm going to be looking at today is the rose because to me, there's nothing wrong with this rose at all. It is what it is. And yes, it, it's a little bit marked, but all I've done is just peeled off the leaves, a few petals back, and that just makes it beautiful and neat again. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with the center of that plant, nothing at all, nothing at all. So that's the first one I'm gonna be doing today. And it's quite a simple shot, straightforward, no flashes, all I'm going to do, first of all, to set it all up is I've got this piece of perspex here, a bit of flexible perspex glass, and all I've done is got a black sheet of my table. I'm just going to place it down. The perspex gives you lovely reflections, and it helps with the light as well, when the light's coming in, because there ain't a lot of light in here today. I've only got to using the light through the window, so I'm going to be using longer, uh, longer exposure times, but this, Catches the helps catch the lights and it bounces the light around it as well as gives nice shadows. The first shot is so simple. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to place the rowers onto the perspex. That's it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my camera. I'm using my Canon 750D, my 100mm macro lens, and I'm on my trusty tripod. Absolutely fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on it now and see what it looks like. Have a look. To be fair, that's quite nice straight at camera, but it's not what I want really, to be fair. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and photograph the very center of it. So what I wanna do is I wanna focus in and I wanna try and get it a little, little bit closer. Because I'm gonna fill the frame. What I'm doing is gonna fill the frame with the rowers, so I'm just taking a picture of that center. So I'll just take another one. And that's a lot better straight away, so simple. Now it's a little bit dark as you've seen, so what I'm gonna do is now is I'm gonna get this flash torch and I'm just gonna hold the torch on it just to light it up a bit. And that makes a great difference straight away. It's not over exposure. You might need to do it a few times to get the exposure right, but you're gonna nail it every time. And that, that is how I take that shot. That is an F10 ISL 100, and it's a just under one second of exposure time. Like I said, that's why I'm using a two second timer again, so I can get it. 
I'll drop this picture up here now because that one ain't, that's how simple this shot was. Now this shot I'm going to do now is exactly the same as what I did with the rose shot. So I'm just going to quickly whiz through it. I'm just going to focus yet again dead on the centre of the flower. Right in the centre and what I'm actually doing is I'm framing the flower up so it's going to be virtually the middle of the flower is right in the centre but this time all I'm going to be doing is getting my light I'm on a one second exposure and all I'm going to do is flash the light over it and take the picture that is it that is literally it there ain't nothing else more to do with it so what I've done like I've just said I'm on one second exposure f10 ISL 100 and that's all I'm gonna do is like I say you might need to flush it around a few more times one more for good luck and there you go that's how simple that one is let's get on to the more difficult one now so now I'm gonna show you how I managed to get this shot and I really am proud of this shot I'm actually gonna have this printed on canvas for myself because I really do like it it's this is it's a bit more technical but it's simply technical if that made sense what I'm going to do is, I'm, I've got these flowers where I just took a picture of, a, of the heads, well, the buds and the tops. These I'm going, to, I'm going to be using, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lie them down on this Perspex. And like I said earlier, this Perspex absolutely gives you a fantastic reflection. And that's what I'm after. I'm after a reflection in this. And where the angle, I'm going to angle it is that I'm going to make sure I'm shooting sort of down. So that I ain't going to get none of this in the background, but the black of here will actually shine and it will make it a reflection for me. I'm also going to get my lamp, like I said, and just flash the lamp across it. And that's how I got it last time. But now what I'm going to have to do is I'm, now the light is going down a lot more, which is going to help me out a little bit more, is I can do a bit longer exposure to cool the light down and get what I want. My settings are going to be exactly the same for the first shot because I've just got to make sure that the shot works mag bang on first time. So I'm just going to quickly set it up and have a look. I need to come back a lot now. I need to go higher. And there you go. Now I've got it right now what I want. That's about perfect. That's about perfectly set now for what I need. So I'm just going to quickly take a test shot just to have a look, see if it works. And like I thought, it's going to be very dark. So now I'm going to get this. I'm going to change it over because I don't want blue. I want an orange one for this. So now two second time, I'm just going to look through my viewfinder, flash it over till I see where I want it. Once I see where I want it, I'm going to hold it. And there you go. I got one shot, but I think we can maybe do better than that. I'm going to have a mess around now with the blues and see what I get with the blues. But like I said, it's all about that reflection that actually comes down off the pair specs. And that's what you need. And like I say, focus, focus on the farthest one out. I'm going to focus right on the very tip of that one and then I'm going to let the the f-stops just drag it through and create everything. I'm not going to have everything like say super sharp because it will have a black overcasty and I believe that will make it more interesting. So I'm just going to take quickly take one more shot with the blue and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these up and then we'll have a chat. Not too bad. So remember, next time somebody throws something away, there could be a shot just waiting for you. If you've enjoyed those pictures, let me know and leave me a thumbs up and a comment in my box, please, below. I will put some more pictures up at the end for you. It just shows that just because somebody's throwing something away, it doesn't mean that you can't take a picture and you can't get that nice shot from it. And it's free. And that's the main thing. Free, free and free. If you got to the end of this video, thank you ever so much. 
And like I keep saying, if you've got friends, family, who you think interested in photography, just let them know. Just point them my way, please. Uh, thank you ever so much, like I said, for all your kind comments, pictures, and some great support. And I will be back very, very, very soon. And you know what I'm going to say, don't you? Until next time, stay safe and happy snapping. Thank you.